Okay. Uh, welcome to our function video. Uh, like and subscribe. Thank you, Amy. Okay. Um, we are going to use a scanner for our example program today. We're writing. Uh, so go ahead and import. Run your uh, import for your scanner because we're going to use that. While you guys are doing that, I will explain what's going on. We are writing our program today. It's just going to be a simple uh, example of how to do a method uh, as known in Java or function as known in basically everything else. So we're going to write, um, let's just write something simple. Let's write something that just does, uh, let's, just, let's just take the average of two numbers. Let's take two numbers from the user and let's just average them out. So we're going to come here. Okay. We're going to go here. Well, where's my, I got to make my tabs look good. Okay. We're going to come here. Uh, let's use two, let's get two numbers from the users. So let's make them double so that they can type in decimal points if they really feel like it. So let's just go double num one and num two. Remember you can chain them together with commas. You don't have to do double for each one. Um, make your life a little easier. We also need to declare our scanner uh, so that we can use it to read in the value from the end user. So let's go ahead and do that. Scanner reader equals new scanner. And since our scanner, oh, forgot to capitalize the S. Since our scanner is going to read from the command line, we're going to go system dot in the system input. Okay, uh, first thing is let's just go ahead and chuck a uh, line out there asking the user for two numbers. So let's system.out.println and then let's just say please two numbers, two numbers to find the average of. There we go. Now we're going to use our scanner to read in num1 and num2. So let's go num1 equals reader dot next double, right? Because they're doubles. No arguments here. And then the same thing for num2. Okay, so now we have our two uh, numbers. We have asked the user for two numbers. Now we have read those two numbers in. Um, okay, so we have this. Now, normally, this is where we would just simply do the math for our, right here, we would do num1 plus num2 divided by two equals uh, our answer, but, uh, <laughs> You guys know this. When we're first starting new concepts, it doesn't always necessarily make sense. So this is overly simplified. I get it. Um, but it's about the process. Uh, we're going to be able to use this later on. Okay. So public static void main. This is our main. We are going to need to create. Our method is going to be down here. Okay. So we're here. We're going to go. Our method, should it be public or private? What do you guys think? Public. Why public? Yeah, because we want our function and our method, or we want our method to be able to communicate with our main, right? So we're going to go public. Okay, it is going to be static. If we are going to use our method to calculate the average of two numbers, are we going to have to return anything back to the main? What are we going to return? What, what data type are we going to return? A double. Okay, so this becomes double. And now we need to give it a name. I'm going to call mine AVG here. So now our, our function has a name. It's AVG. And the arguments that it would take to do what we're trying to do. What do we need to find the average? What do we need to know? What does our function need to know? Sure, it needs to know the numbers, right? So we're going to go double. And I'm just going to call this variable A. 
and we'll go double, and we'll call this variable b. Okay, and we need to create our bucket for our function, which is right there. Okay, now anything inside of these two curly brackets are going to be part of our bucket, part of our function. Okay, <clears throat> one thing, and this is kind of weird, and I get it, and I know that, but we have this variable right here, num1, and it's a double. Can I down here in my method use num1? Can I say num1 equals, well, if I could type in equals, does this work? No, it says, if you look at the error, it says cannot find symbol. The reason for that is that our variables are contained by the method that they're in. So our main method right here, num1 is part of our main method. It cannot be accessed by our function down here. Do you guys get that? It can't. If we wanted a variable to be able to be called from a function and from the main or multiple methods within the program, then we would declare it as a global up here. And it seems like that would be a really good idea, but it is not. Do not do that. You're not at a point yet where you would need to do global variables yet. There are reasons to use them, um, but they are limited. And I also feel, um, generally speaking, global variables are overused. People, they're lazy. People use them because they're lazy. Okay, so... We need two doubles to run our function. So we have double A and double B. We have literally declared two doubles down here, right? So now, would our program care if we use that? No, we can use A because A is part of this. Could I use A up here? No, that's correct, good job. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's write the math to calculate the average. So we're going to use another variable. Let's go double C, right? And then we're going to go C equals A plus B divided by 2. Is that going to work? Miley, are you saying no? Is that going to work? No, why not? Okay, order of operations is important, remember? The computer can't decide what the order of operations should be necessarily, so we have to do it for it. So we have to put A plus B in parentheses, right? Because we want that to happen first, right? Because what happens if we don't? It's going to divide 2 by B and then add A to it. That's not going to get us the right answer. Okay. So we now have the average of those two doubles that passed into the function here, and we stored it in C. So now we're going to return back to the main body of the program. We are going to return C. And look at that. Magically, the error that's been haunting our program the whole time has disappeared. Okay. Very last thing. System.out.println. The average is here. Then we're going to concatenate. We're going to call our function here. Go a, v, g. And the two things we're going to pass is num1 and num2. So we have two arguments. We're going to pass num1, num2. There are two doubles. They get passed into these two doubles. These two doubles then hold them and do the math. If we run our program, I'm going to do two numbers that I know the average of. I'm going to go 5 and 3, so it'll kick out a 4. The average is 4. I did that right. I'm going to run it again, try something a little harder. Uh, 4, 75, and 89. Average is 282. That's pretty close. Okay. Quick and dirty. That's how functions, that's a very, very simple function. Anytime you're going to repeat a little section of code over and over and over in your program, or anytime you would want to use a little section of code over and over and over in a program, you would want to write a function for it. Don't forget, like and subscribe on my channel, Northridge Computer Science.
Thank you. That's all. Bye.